This story out of New York City is tragic. This is 18-year-old Raymond Chalusant from the Bronx. He was in the passenger seat of a car when police say he fired off shots from air rifle loaded with Orbeez water pellets. Those gel balls allegedly pelted the back of an off-duty corrections officer who then pulled out a gun and opened fire at the car. Raymond was shot in the face and died. The officer was later charged with murder and manslaughter. This all went down over the summer, but it's just one case that's been linked to a dangerous TikTok trend. Called the Orbeez Challenge, it has people shooting gel pellets at random people and then posting the video. Needless to say, don't do this. The gel or airsoft guns that shoot Orbeez style pellets are often semi-automatic and propel beads at high speeds. And now police across the country are warning the public about the danger of this challenge due to the harm it can cause, intended or otherwise. In Georgia last March, a teen was bloodied by gel beads that were modified to cause more harm. And last June in Ohio, police say a teen shooting the water toy was beat to death by a group who thought he had a real gun. Orby says their gel pellets are, quote, not intended to be used as projectiles or inserted in mechanisms. But as NPR points out, an Orby's hashtag appears right next to a TikTok logo on their website. Damn, I feel like that's messed up. That police officer, you know what I'm saying, had to motherfucking goddamn go through that. Um, that stupid ass TikTok trends people be doing, they be getting folks killed and all this stupid shit, man. Y'all need to cut that shit out. Just for the simple fact. Think about this police officer got shot. You know, that shit hurt getting shoot with them. If it would have got him in his eye, he would have lost his eye. You see how dangerous that shit is? So y'all need to stop with these dumbass challenges. And y'all need to start educating these kids on these stupid ass challenges. Definitely something that involve in her harming and shooting somebody else. You know, it just doesn't make sense to hear, you know, this guy lost his life. That guy lost his life over a dumbass TikTok challenge. And I'm pretty sure I made a video about TikTok and these challenges as getting folks killed left and right. Heads up, this story is scary. This is Edgar Valdez Villarreal, AKA La Barbie. Born in Texas, he moved to Mexico in the 90s and became a notorious drug trafficker on behalf of some of Mexico's most dangerous drug cartels. Not only did he get hundreds of kilos of drugs into the US, he was a violent top level cartel enforcer known for torturing and decapitating rivals. La Barbie was arrested in Mexico in 2010 and brought to the US in 2015. In 2018, he was sentenced to 49 years in jail. He'd been in a maximum security federal prison since then, but as of today, we have no idea where he is. Media uncovered that La Barbie no longer appears in the Federal Bureau of Prisons online inmate registry, and the Bureau confirmed to CNN that he's not currently in federal custody. There are multiple reasons why inmates may leave federal custody, such as a court hearing, but Mexico is demanding answers, with their president telling reporters that the U.S. government needs to clear this up as soon as possible. I let him tell you, yeah, for him, him is my time. I don't know, I just want to this ain't y'all car right there. That's one of y'all cars right there. Bitch, I'm about to show you what time it is. Bitch, I'm from the east side, bitch. <laughs> Can I get my piece of that? I, I've been doing very positive. I am. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I guess we see how they get down the east side of the city, you know what I'm saying? Because you already know how it go down. And I already know what time it was when they customer service was shit. Because you can't be treating people any other kind of way when they just trying to spend their hard earn working money to buy something from y'all ass. And y'all up here being disrespectful and rude and want to call people out their names. See, this is what happens. Some people don't take that shit so y'all gotta watch your goddamn mouth and what you say to people because somebody might just up and, and bust you in your mouth for some shit she lucky or he that the car just got fucked up because you never know nowadays 
Do you remember the pink sauce? Well, this is the new pink sauce. From TikTok to table, the infamous pink sauce is back and its creator, Chef P, calls it the Beyonce of sauces. It endures a lot of controversy like Beyonce. Pink sauce originally blew up in July. Some people were fascinated by its color and others were concerned by the sauce's changing hue and inconsistent nutritional label. By the end of summer, Chef P had partnered with Dave's Gourmet to bring pink sauce to the masses. We are now non-dairy, so it's a vegan sauce. The taste is really similar. Of course, there is a slight difference due to the fact that it's a mass product. But as far as the flavor integrity, it's still there. It's already sold out once, but there's still some controversy. I'm using this one. Users have questioned if Chef P is using the mass produced version of the sauce, pointing out the color looks different in her TikToks. Go get you a bottle while supplies last. Yeah, it is a filter. It is a filter that I'm using. And then the hue is different in the restaurant because it was dark and there was a flash. Like always, Chef P isn't worried about the haters. As far as trolls, God bless them and I wish them the best. I'm coming out with the cookbook really soon before Christmas and uh, much more. There's much more to come. So this pink sauce, have anybody tried it? Because I definitely want to try it. And I'm a person who always likes to try new things, new food, new all of that. You know what I'm saying? That's just something I like to try. I like to try a lot of different foods. Uh, definitely exotic foods. Oh, my God. But I wonder how this pink sauce would taste. You know what I'm saying? With some alligator or some shit like that. Fresh alligator. Not that shit that's been sitting. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or some shrimp. Some fresh shrimp or something. You know? On some chicken. Or some shit like that. Now, we didn't see she had it on pizza and shrimp and all this other stuff, but I want to know what this shit tastes like myself. Shit. But, yeah. Y'all let me know in the comic section if y'all had any of this pink sauce. Man, think about food now.